All right, guys. Time to get to work again in the toy shop. Let's see where we're at across so many different things. Hope you guys are doing well. Welcome in. My name is Doug Mount, and I make little 164 NASCAR diecast cars that you can't buy anywhere else. Okay, so I've got a few things over here to reassemble. If you remember, I left off putting together this Mustang, wedging that window in there. That's all dry. Gonna take this out. And yeah, we're ready to put that back together. I think I got all my interior detailed. Same thing here. This guy's all dry and ready to go. And this one too. Okay. So let's see here. I got one, two, three. Um, this was just a piece that was using screws, a PTC mold. So that's all ready to go. One nice thing about the screws, right? You screw them in, boom, you're ready. No need for any weight or JB Weld dry or time or anything like that. So, Okay, so let's see what else we got. We can JB Weld those. We'll do that in a little bit. All right, so this is all stripped down. You can see it's down to the bare metal. I can paint that, paint that black. Uh, let's go over here for a second. Got a couple of these Ohio State cars that I'll make. Again, stripped down to the bare metal. Ready to uh, paint this. So, just going to have to wire brush and get that ready. Same thing with the other one. Now let's look at this car, Doug. So, here's one of the fun Matt Kenseth cars to build for... Are north of the border, Doug. So it's a 2014 Matt Kenseth GameStop Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. And you can see how the decal set comes. Um, it's lacking. <laughs> so it comes with this these two transition pieces, which are basically from a you know gray back to a white. So the cars the car is white from here back and then it's and then it's got this gray and I'm pretty sure I've got the gray it's just a um, looking at it right now I think it's a dark gray one I've used before when I made this it's been a while but so I gotta paint it two uh, two different colors and then the hood and roof and trunk are all black so you can see the the black decal here, but I'll have to paint this black, spoilers black, and then I'll have to paint this black here. Um, so yeah, challenging car, made a little bit more challenging because uh, the decal set from Pato is not, um, I mean everything's there, it's just you got some painting to do, significant amount of painting. So. We'll have to tape it off, and I think my process will be, let's paint the gray first, and then we'll let that dry, come back, paint the white on this area, and then once she's all dry, I'll probably end up, yeah, I'll have to pre-paint uh, black before I put the the windows and stuff in and I may just paint the whole thing black as needed up here before I put the windows back in so yeah a lot of painting uh, going on with this guy so but I tell you what she's worth it it's a beauty just a beauty when she's done so that'll be a fun exercise because I've never videoed I think making that car before Alright, let's get some wire brush going on here. 
guys can see how I do this next step here. Just get my little cheap wire brush, Chinese junk. Not too bad here, this car. Like they say with painting, you know, it's it's all in the preparation. You know? It's like cooking a nice meal, you know, you you plan it out. You know, you plan out I'm I'm a big steak guy now, right? So get a good cut of meat, you know, you go to the store, get a good cut of meat, maybe you go to multiple stores because you're looking for a deal or the best price, right? Best cut of meat. Maybe you go to the butcher, right? You're planning it out. And how you're gonna season it, maybe you're gonna marinate it overnight so you buy it a day or two in advance. Yeah. Plan it out, guys. Plan things out, take your time. You're gonna get the best results. Do this prep work. Believe me, there's more. There's people, you guys out there, some crazy custom diecast makers that really do some serious, serious work when it comes to uh, prepping for paint and all that. All right, you can see this is pretty good. I don't need to steel wool this really guy really much at all. So, I'll paint this guy black. All right, every once in a while you get like a little remnant in the in a little crevice, right? You just take that exacto knife and scrape it out, you know. Especially right here. Got to watch you don't cut yourself, but you know what? I don't mind cutting myself from time to time. Not that I do it on purpose, but I don't know, I just gotten used to it. You know what? Not the end of the world cut yourself, you bleed a little bit, you move on with life. Let's get the job done.
little remnants of the wrap that was on here before. Oh, watch that right there. Yeah, sometimes like Right there, I can see just some imperfections on the metal. Get that smoothed out a little bit. I mean, it's not going to be too noticeable with the GameStop logo going across there, but I don't know. You see something, you kind of smooth it out a little bit, make it better. You can see that right there. Just a little, couple little notches in there. Not too bad though. She gonna be a beauty for you, Doug. Gonna make this beautiful for you, man. I know you've been patient, waiting for me. Just kind of wiping it off with this with this towel, trying to get you know just a little bit of residue on there when you're wire brushing and everything. So well, don't do that. Sometimes these wheel wells get a little jagged. So, use my X-Acto knife, kind of twist my wrist and go in there and clean that out. Like so. <sighs> okay. Alright. I'm going to pause it and do a couple of these other ones and we'll move on. Alrighty, let's uh, let's get some paint and let's paint these guys, man. Do something exciting here this morning. So here's my idea. If I can grab this thing. So, so I've got some paint that I've used before for silk, and it's typically, this is kind of my go-to paint. This is the metallic, gloss metallic silver uh, for testers uh, brand. The only thing with this paint is you have to prime. You prime before, and it's, it's sharp. It's a really sharp paint. So I, I could definitely use that, but I don't want to prime. So I'm going to try this Let's Get Cozy color shot. I don't think I've used this before. It's a satin finish so when I'm done I'll have to put some coats of gloss sealer on it before I decal. But uh, yeah, it, it, it uh, it's a silver and we shall give it a, roll, a, a, a whirl. Give it a go, right? So let's see. Shake can vigorously for one minute after mixing ball begins to rattle. Seriously, one minute. This paint is highly pigmented and performs best when fully mixed. Shake often during use. Hold can upright 6 to 10 inches from surface and spray in e smooth, even strokes. Apply one light coat at a time, waiting a few minutes between coats. Recoat within one hour or after 24 hours. Dries to the touch in 10 minutes. Fully cured in 24 hours? Are you kidding me? Dries to the touch in 10 minutes? So, if I need to recoat within one hour, yep. Well, she'll give it a shot. All right.
Let's go do a couple paints. You can see already, guys, this is more of a gray than a silver. But we'll complete it. Doesn't need much at all. Holy crap. This coverage is great. Guys, I tell you what, I... I see some Walmarts are not carrying this anymore, this color shot, but I, I, I'm really impressed with it, really impressed with this stuff. It's got just a really good coverage. You can see it, it dries in 10 minutes. That's insane. Um, paint and primer in one, you know, wood, metal, plastic, crafts. I don't know, guys. I... I Ah, very impressed with it. Crossed so many different colors. You know, like anything, you gotta you gotta shake things up and stuff. But wow, I'm impressed. Now, I will say, smell is pretty good, <laughs> meaning I can smell it <laughs> pretty good. Uh, let me turn the van on here. See, I got a fuzzy on the side there, but I'm not going to get too fussy about a fuzzy on the side because if you saw the decal set, it's got a whole red logo for the whole side. So once it dries, I will, I will get that little fuzzy off and uh, decal will cover it. That won't be a problem, but sometimes that happens, guys. I... Whether it's off of my clothing or whatever. That's why people have paint booths and stuff, but we shall we shall pro push through. Alright. Let's get cozy. I like it. Alright, let me get a couple more and we'll paint some more. Little black dress. Ooh. This is down to its last. <laughs> this is down to its very last. Not a whole lot left in this can. Probably not going to be the best paint job here. Well, I got 
an idea. Nah, I think it's okay. It's gonna be a little thick. It's not too bad, but I'm done with this. I'm done with this bottle. All right. We're done with this guy, but she served us well for many paint jobs. So, thanks. All right. So I got some blue tape here painter's tape and we're gonna tape off this guy now if you saw it had um, uh, gray over here white on this side so I'm just gonna try to make sure that that B pillar is painted gray this is gonna be white back here and yeah because the decal you can see the decal goes all the way up through the the wheel well there so as long as i'm as long as i'm gray to here decal will, will 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 mask the the transition it's a pretty good distance there from gray to white and so um i just need to make sure that this area is gray yeah don't really care too much about the roof because that's going to be black. So, just want to come around here, be consistent with my tape job here. See that right there. And again, it's not the end of the world that I get, I get, you know, gray back over there. I can always clean it up before I paint the white. So the first coat is is the easiest. It's it's painting the white and not getting it on the gray. That's that's where it's going to be a little exciting. off. I guess I'll put another piece of tape back there. Okay. All right. Squeeze this in here. Get this all laid out here. Okay. like so. Alright, let's go paint this guy. Okay, our weapon of choice for this is going to be the Rust-Oleum Gloss Dark Gray. All right, my, my tape is preventing me from getting that level, but it's not the end of the world.
too concerned about the top, right? Because I'm painting that black, but... That's it. Sorry, I'm getting you dizzy here, moving around. Alright, let's see what I can do. Setting this over here. Okay. I didn't do a good job thinking about my tape and how this is going to rest up here. Alright, so let me think. Maybe I get some scissors, I cut the bottom of the tape, and then I can put that in. So, hold on a second. Okay, cut that tape underneath. At least now we can sit there with the other ones and, and dry. Alright, let's go back to the tape. Alright, you guys have seen me JB weld probably dozens and dozens of times, so probably seen me do all of this stuff dozens and dozens of time, but we're going to put another coat of sealer on this. Boris said no fear, number 60. Nice thing about the pledge, you can be really, really liberal I think this is my second or third coat. If you're tracking this car, guys, um, it'll be going up on eBay probably Sunday night. I'm mounted in a stand. We'll do that. If you're interested in it, this other one was the custom request that I'm making. Talk about a one-of-a-kind piece. My oh my. Yes, indeed. So yeah, guys, I appreciate you watching. Um, appreciate you following. Hope this is helpful to you guys, custom die-cast makers and collectors. You can see a little bit of the behind-the-scenes process for how these guys are made, at least in my toy shop. And um, put together these beauties for y'all's collection. And yeah, I'm always encouraging you guys to try out this hobby. And yeah, it's um, you know, there's a lot of lot of work involved, but it's rewarding and exciting at the same time. So God bless. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. See you next time.